and ladies and gentlemen, jungle, welcome to another banger, another killer, killer episode of Radio Touch. I see your number one social media, La Mzanzi Kamalam doing Tabo Media. And thank you so much for joining us. Yes, last week we've been missing, but yes, we are back with another banger, baby. <laughs> Oh yeah, Jango, this weekend, it's a weekend, obviously, yes, this weekend is a weekend, and yeah, Jango, my man, I said, Makaya, no, not be there with your people, be there to send Simmons in wherever you are, thank you for taking your time out and joining us on this episode, because yes, today, it's gonna be going down, yes, in your background, I'm playing you, Rusty Dusty, and, and I'm a piano song by Ray, by, by Jazz the Disciples of Afana, Basla at your honey's bag, and yes, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, Ray Detach essay one stop talk until our voices are heard and today we're going to be talking to one of the brilliant when i say brilliant he's he's he's, he's great on stage and his voice is also dope his name is Mpo and he's all the way from my eastern cape and this man is doing afro pop music today we're going to be having a conversation with him trying to drill him down and see what he has to offer to the people what's his message to the crowd that is message behind his music so we're going to be talking about that and without any waste of time i'm going to open up a song today by playing you a song by Umpo, the name of the song says African Queen. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the song. Oh, 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 oh,
man, this is on the back. I don't know what you share on the song, and I was saying on my way to the station today, you know, listening to radio, there are very few radio presenters that talk about the music, the genuine music that we get, either from the townships, wherever we get the music from, I don't care, but like, people talk about the authenticity of music and the artists that are still passionate about music, doing music for the people more than doing music for, for, for any type of income, okay? But at the end of the day, they have to, you know, but you know, we want people with genuine heart and poor. I feel like it's one of the people that are representing the Afro-pop type of music very well in South Africa because you can actually feel when he does the song and oh yes, me being crazy with music, I will go from instrumental actions to dancing and doing all the fun things, but yes, it's all because you can feel the song and you can connect with the artist that's actually doing the music and yes, the name of the song is African Queen by Um Poi. Ladies and gentlemen, without any waste of time, we're gonna be jumping to Um Poi and see if we can actually get hold of him. Uh, this is us trying Umpo and while we're trying Umpo there's a lot of things that we've lined up on today's episode and you will notice that there's a change in our podcast now and I welcome you to actually challenge me based on the change and ask me what has changed what are we trying to achieve and yes we're trying to get through to Umpo and see if we can get, get him he's a very busy guy yeah. hey Umpo you are live at Radio Touch SA your number one social media radio station Gunja Anuputuam can I call you Mr. African Queen? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Man, I want to call you Mr. African Queen because, like, I was moving to African Queen, and I'm sure when people are actually getting time to tune in into the thing, they will enjoy the song. It's a beautiful song, Paul. Before we actually begin with the interview today, I'd like to say, Man, this is a beautiful song. You've put in some energy, and I think it can connect with the people. I don't know who's behind the, the instrumentals, but everything is just gelling in so good. Ah, that's, that's yeah. beautiful. It's beautiful. Man, let's thank you for giving us your time today. I know you're a busy man, you're busy with auditions and all. There's a lot of yeah. things that you're busy with this weekend, but you actually took your, some, some time out to say, hey, Tibos, if, if you're lifting your hand up, man, I mean, I'm, I'm here to help you and we can actually have a conversation. And for the people of yeah. Mazio Umpo, who just had African Queen, who don't want to call him Mr. African Queen? Briefly, Umbanu Umpo, where did you grow up? Okay, well, uh, I'm Alright. So I'm up. Alright, alright. So alright, thank you, man. We we we're glad to know so I I just wanna drill down. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's let's go back to where the whole music thing actually started. When did it start? When did you think like you can you have something to offer to the people to the crowd? Alright. Okay, um for primary school and then in 2016, and then responsive and wow, okay, they do love this. And then Dana from Believe Mokuba, Nani Lendo is a challenge from God. Sure, sure. So the challenge will push a goal. All right. So, but, but how, how did you choose? Because as I know in high school, you we sing ah. about Dora, me for so much. How did you, and how did you, how did you, how did you choose? 
Afro pop over everything. I mean, there's other genres of music. There's a gospel. There's, gospel. there's other things, man. You could have chosen. You could have been in a house uh, and all like that. Why did you choose a, a specifically Afro pop? Okay. No, in the end, oh, 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 and then you will look cool and the mama that are cool in the in the the Afro soul and the Afro jazz. So yeah, young influence are cool no on to and uh, it's got cool. Eh, ona di mama nsa eh 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 ayen zaman chande ogu chada en chala di kumi do pana ayo. So the Afro soul is the best is the best um chain I am gonna ever. No, that, that, that totally makes sense because I was saying to you before you actually tuned in, I was saying I was listening to well, African Queen, and one of the commentaries I made was that you can actually feel the connection of the Yengo man, the instrumentals, and the artists, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. So it, it also shows that you're also a good writer, not just a singer. But who inspired you to actually who inspires you now in the country as far as Afropop is concerned? Oh, Katabani Mika Kulu, Kota Kupu Dringo is the one. Ah, Dingo, my Dingos. And I was waiting. You know, you know. You made, you made, you made it who I am. Oh, you know what I was going to say? I, I wanted to take a first step and say, ah, I know. He's going to say, if we see over. But, ah, at least if you were zero for seven, you were going to say, if we see over. But, yeah, let me forgive you because you're not zero for seven. You weren't made by him. But, yes, Ringo is one of the greatest uh, all times. As singers there after so that we can live behind, especially talking about the brand. And can you just explain to us then how does your typical day look like as a writer? Because there are people who like, I don't know what those musicians do. Like, what's the typical day for like today? Well, what are the things that you wake up to do? Do you go to the studio every day and they're banging the songs? Or how how does a typical day look like? Or you're just out there doing gigs, or like during the week, what do you guys do? Because nobody seems to know what artists do during the week except being on what. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. So I mean, get me what? What do you do? What do you do when you're not producing music? Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to open a community community development. So I'm involved with the art. Gune organization ye art ekona apa e France shuka panta la kona. Sure. E kubiza mukba ite MP Foundation. We doing all forms of art, pushing abanana from the age of 18 to 25. Sure. So amatasha mani zeli ni involved apa. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mpo, I just want this your fans obvious for you for people to follow you and actually enjoy your music more than just loving your music at first sight. But what is the message you know, from your side as a writer uh, and the guy that actually is a singer and a performer? What is the message that you think is behind Mtulu Wako? Okay, Mtulu Wako, I'm telling the story uh, because mostly in Kansas of Allah, in Oman, in people's lives, so as to touch so um so the reason I think the reason why Abandu uh Ingo Mazamba sometimes we ban funny sano but over and then funny sano nati sometimes then funny sano semito I ban the match about figure now talk on Ingo no that one is the reason why the reason why Kujano is because they they telling a story some like about never find a ring of one that I want to come on express uh in the So na the seven seconds I'm known to the seven second story, two thousand the guy because give us palan and story. Yeah, but sometimes to change a story. To a song. Wow. So, I, I, I just think of it, 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 it,
um, like Ingo Umso. We never ate Ingo Umso. So, which you're going to play later by in the, the show today? Yes. yes. Oh, wow. Uh, by the time I was Ingo Umso, I was in a very bad space. And I think I was in a very bad space. But I was in a very bad space. I was in a very bad space. And and I think I in two but I'm I'm still from them. So which means no government is not doing life in one, but it's like we calling home. So ending our lives, you come So you you see upon seven say experience. In the in the event you go get that pressure, and then the parents are doing again no editing home. So and then I compose a song. I never took a pain in the pal and then go home. So then I took a pain and then So and then that the man approach you, so I understand something, and then I just say and then go. Wow, man. <laughs> it's not every day that's a demand any artist as in Jado, you know, even in the hip hop world, even though Abandon Bazo is in Zindo, it's a freestyle, it's a freestyle, but we know, we can tell when it's a freestyle or not, but we, it's to be able to come up with something so genuine and authentic yeah. and, and clean and touching lives and, and with a message, man, within, without even taking your pen and put everything down, that shows that you're a man yeah. of talent. I know that now we have no doubt that Umpo is a man of talent, but now the question is, is, do you have any other guys or who you've collaborated with in the past or who you are in the process of collaborating with in the and some of the stuff that you're busy with? All right, at the moment, we sing this Akadnai album. I've only got singles. So, we sing with Enazo, Kukona, Umchita, and the Fisharish Le, or you poet, or Utua Muin Zima. But Nazine, okay, at the moment, in the Plena album. And it's okay, and then go my AZ9 and the oh. Ingatin of an air collaboration song on Afono Tebu, Holo, and not Chef Yamazi. All right, get we top four, we so, idols. So I know, I know, I know the guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, so, so we planning. Yes, yes, that's it, my boy. John Mamela must push any collabs as that time. But I like the fact that uh, uh, you're not only rushing for the guys up a power on top. I mean, the guy, like I know you are very passionate about development work and Nabandu are coming from the ground. And without just doing favors, but to actually spot out Abandabane talent like you and you think they can go far to feature those people. That's just one of the things that you're doing, man. That I don't think most of artists out there are still moving like, up the scale and have a bit of friends because I know you have your audience already in the Eastern yeah, Cape, yeah. Kukajani, you have your audience at Cape Town, in <laughs> yeah. but you're able to wing in as in Indwana, even though you don't know Ingo, somebody unknown, but we can only hope. And just one of the things that I I, I, I like to ask I, 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 I artists, I saw you performing the Kukajane with the yeah. Festival and at the time I didn't know you kind of went out and just link back in the combat. This one might be coming from Cape Town, this one. <laughs> nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, yeah. So uh, tell me, how do you deal with that anxiety about the stage? Is that a corner where you're nervous because of the stage? And how, how, can, how can you help younger artists who are listening to Radio Touch today? But hey, I want to be a performing artist because your performance are so great, man. I'm not saying this because yeah. we to touch, but everyone who, who's actually who's gonna listen to this, they will know that Umpo, we know him and we've seen him and we know what to tell is saying is true. What advice can you give to our younger artists who are scared of a stage? Because you didn't look like you were worried, you were like, I'm just doing my thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I can say about that is, uh, you know, um, stage and Without eating on your, your competition, you're not competing. You're doing what you you doing what you have, what you love. So na inen bang el bang po yiki. Plan gena stage. I I know for sure in the banana. If you demand me to abandon me, don't deny yo. Sure. Na le di ni ko mutiko. Then after ko eti mo chobo no yiki because most um abandon. In the le do banana abandon o chan do abandon ba chile abandon ba se no gu ni chan. I don't know if you are a good one, you know. Yeah. I like that, but you know, we taste the taste. And so, and the Lama only, and the Lama you impress up there, but to give what I have and to like share the message, you are going to be in Saibanti. So, Uguba, I'm the fellow CG artist, and Sakula, you see, my Puma is a new one of the computer. Yeah. So, clean and no banana must have in a bunch of monkey. 
Sure. Yeah, and it's hard, man. I know gang people there. It was a nice festival, but we're not we're not all about that. But at least I mean I'm sure if people listen to this they'll come to know and like I'm saying, I mean there's no way you can I know with other kinds of music, but specifically Afropop, gospel and all those type of music, it's 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 too real for you to focus on, on your competition more than Abantu because what, what inspires most writers yeah. is Abantu and their situations and actually trying yeah. to uplift Abantu and trying to turn their lives around through Mtulu. So for you to be focusing on your competition more than helping people out through yeah, your music, yeah, yeah. It's, it could That's be a very it. waste of time. And I'm glad you're mentioning that, Mpo. And just in terms of your venues, uh, what type of venues do you like to perform on the Is it? I've seen you close doors, I've seen you outdoors, that's why I'm asking. Uh, I've seen you performing for Mangamla. Hey, I saw you, my boy, I saw you performing for Mangamla. I know till now that you're good. You want to be African queen? That's it, my boy. So, what type of venues that you normally go to? I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna say because it will sound. This one, this might sound wrong. Maybe let me rephrase my question and say, what type of venues do you normally perform on? All right, now. Okay, sorry, sorry, can you? Enough, yeah. Right. So now, you know, you don't have a problem I'm not sure if I'm getting the fresh to help. Yeah. Uh, you may be performing with us. We could event as good as the outdoor, you know. Yeah. Like my club. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to perform as a big club. And you're going to find the other people trying to get the other people. Casting is the truth. Why clubs? Why clubs? Why clubs? No, that's dope. And some, uh, I know rappers, I've, I've done some work, some quite extens- extensive work with rappers. They call that time injury time. And if you're hosting yeah, a show, yeah. I've hosted a few shows, Kukajani, and rappers will come to me and say, Pratibos, give me injury time, give me injury time. But yeah, I think mm-hmm. that's one of the best times of course of in Kizios Abandu. And Paul, I am much aware that Kumpasha Local uh, Awards, you are one or you are, you've been nominated in one of the categories. Oh, what yeah. is the category and how do people vote for you? All right, the category of the best, um, of the best. Uh, I'm a fan of the general, I'm a fan of the general. And then there was a delay and that you have to be a bit of a time. Sure. Because in the school of my kids, we were in the school of the room and the year. Yeah. But they are from Balanaba, they are from Abandon, and they are supporting me. All right. So, the one who did a fire in the Hindu SMS award is submitting one to four nine six double seven. Award is submitting one to four nine six double seven. Awesome. Then even with after this, I'm gonna post this on Facebook and when I post the link up on WhatsApp, I'm gonna send it to various people on my podcast. I'll send them, I'll send actually the link with that picture that we did that day because my computer is up, the one that I use, my personal computer, the one that I use to actually create that picture. So uh, when you get the link of, of the upload of this thing, people should also get to see how they go about voting for Wayne. I'm like, I'm fair too. If there are any people like Abashani Pans who are like, hey, I'm an artist. 
artist. Oh, I think I have a voice. I think I have a message to the world to share. But you know, there's, there's, there's many factors to these things, either lack of resources, uh, lack of connections, lack of whatever. What is your message to those artists? And some artists who are already in the industry. Maybe let's start with the ones who say, I want to enter into the industry, but they are better color on a few other things. What advice can you give and to those, your fellow guys who are already in the music industry? Yeah, man, 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 the best thing you can do is even though they are from Atlanta, but they can see the light. I know for sure because I do trust the Lord. Mm -hmm. He is the only person in the world who is the only person in the world Sure. Just one more thing before I close. I know the valley is about how, how, how how did I, 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 this is this is the side that I think radio today has lost. People no longer ask about the music and how the music came yeah. about. I want to know African Queen because the song. I don't know how I I feel after Langoma, but my heart moves in a way that can't go with Langoma. I said, "Nigga, it paused." What 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 was in your mind? What was in your heart? What was in your soul? Your spirit when you were writing yeah. the song. You know, African Queen Abandi Bam Bam Interpreter said to me, the other African Queen and I'm so very glad that you will be able to get the amount of money. I'm losing you, I'm poor, I think. Sorry, I'm I'm losing you. When I was writing with African Queen, um, I was in a relationship, ne? Sure. And I'm going to end up with Syria. Yeah, but then we were looking around, who are drinking, like they bring the alcohol abuse, some of them are doing the drug abuse, some of them like are engaging themselves, abandoning the other people right for more, you know. So in the Ghanaian drama, it is African Queen. African Queen converts the Ghanaian drama into a castle because. I believe the one I made in my in the Madonna is an African queen. Because we sit over there and we want to learn from South Africa or Africa. You are an African queen, and you need to be proud of yourself. Let alone in the days when you are dancing, you are amazing. You are touching the air. You come on, it's going to happen. Sometimes, ah, we are going to come and we feel the air. We are touching the air. Looking at your friends, maybe they are having an event with the party or a car or a dance. And then when you tell them about the matter, and by and by sometimes ending up or old part of every day, no matter how much you love to touch, because I know you are born. Then I'm a man of my own. Sure. The extra part is that you know that your father was is wrong. Every girl is an African queen. We are cafe la fire and the land. We are going to eat. 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 Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't hear that. 
Hey, my man, John, my man, it's one of, of my favorite songs. And I think most you are know you are mostly known for Langoma and I've seen you perform the song in many I've seen I think I've seen something on YouTube, if I'm not lying. Yeah. And I've seen I've seen you at Chitam and I've listened to the song. So there's been various encounters, but the the feeling or the emotion is very consistent. Mm -hmm. Either you're performing mm -hmm. the song or we're listening to the song, the message doesn't change. Mpo, thanks a lot for your time. And Abanda Bafunukwas Babanga Fumanakanjan Bangak Landi Laganjan to get your music. Talk to us maybe before we close. Yeah, like you've already told us that you're working on getting an album, but when the album yeah. is out, uh, how do people get hold of you? Three, give us your social media and 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 another uh, any any other ways about the bagasu coming and having us. All right, um, just money that we take now. We can chat on the phone at fire at his own music at his own music. Um, okay, I'm going to like a Facebook page, a car, and I'm going to go to my account. So, go to the account. I'm going to 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 go to the account. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, thanks a lot, man. We appreciate it, and Paul. I know you know it's not the last time we're going to touch. You will be coming back, and I know you tell yeah. I've 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 confidence that you'll be coming back. And yes, I want to see table for like for for Umpasha Awards, the SMS about Bala or Awards. I we got we gotta post that, but it's awards six thousand, right? Six hundred and one. Six hundred and one. Six thousand zero one. Awesome. To which number? To four nine six double four. Awesomeness. And I will post that. Like I will post the same thing that I sent you the other day. And Paul, thank you for your time. And we know that you are working on a lot of things. One day we're gonna invite you again to talk about the community projects that you are busy working on in the French work and to see, I mean, what you've done so far and actually get to have conversations and see if some people who have hand can lay their hands in terms of helping you to make what you're doing much more bigger. But good luck and wishing you all the best for the future, my man. Thank you so much to raise your time. Yeah, yeah, that's my boy, that's my boy. I, I, I keep telling people one thing, and maybe now it's something you didn't know. Do you know that more than 50% of the music that's played on South African radio is coming from yeah. guys who are either in from Eastern Cape, sorry, who are either born and raised in uh, Eastern Cape? Uh, yeah, that's, that's true. And like, I, I keep asking myself, why do I keep talking about the Eastern Cape? Is it because I'm from there? Uh, but I just noticed that most of the music we play in the essay is coming from Eastern Cape, yeah. So you have more chances of making it. <laughs> <laughs> we all come from different cases. So, uh, that, that, is, that, is, that is why I came in about winning. Uh, but like, I've been pushing in the career, um, and I want to buy an air cutter as a bad buy. I think it's difficult to join us. But if you take your aspect, you can put it And I hate that. I hate that because. Thanks a lot, my man, for your time. Have an awesome day. 
And yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was the voice on Paul. Oh, this guy can talk for days. Oh, yeah, but I understand why he's so involved in Gulen Wake and Nagizi does a community development with a guy that can express himself both behind the mic and in conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be dropping you one of the songs that Umpo has sent us. And the name of the song is called Imbilo. He did mention during the show. And you must enjoy the song. <laughs> Also send the link or should share the link on our page uh, Radio Touch essay on Facebook and I'll put it on my profile and um, Kabalam being top of me to like I said also on Facebook and yes enjoy enjoy oh more importantly this is also gonna be shared on WhatsApp at 072-641-4851 you want a video clip you want a link we can give you both enjoy so have a fantastic weekend happy Monday